everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and today uh, we are making some little wallets or pouches um, out of junk mail and napkins. So if you'd like to see how I did this, um, trot off to your closest mailbox and get your mail and grab some envelopes. I uh, tore all these open at the top with my letter opener, so that's the kind I'm working with, but you can work, you can do with this any way you like, no problem, and grab a a napkin that you might like to work with. Here is my big pile of napkins that I really need to, uh, uh, you know, start whittling on this big pile. See, see how bad it is. Yeah, I've got a serious napkin issue here. Need to uh, blast through some of these. So I thought today's the day, using up the old, bringing in the new. So here we go. All right, so here's uh, prototype number one. This is all napkin on both sides, okay? And um, I went ahead and put some washi tape around the edges and on the, the, the washi tape wraps around the mouth of the pouch opening or wallet opening as well. And then, of course, put some liquid pearls around uh, on the washi tape. And I put a little expression I found. I'm never alone in the garden. I thought that was a good line from a book page I found. And I'm going to also put some uh, liquid pearl around the outside on the back, but I, the, I, it, I would have had to wait for that to dry and I just wanted to make the video. So here we go. Okay. So, um, this is one example and this one, I just flipped inside the napkin to cover the inside of the envelope. And this one, basic same idea. It's washi around the outside napkin in the center, a, a word for decoration that has been inked around and, uh, some liquid pearls. <clears throat> excuse me and um this one i tucked a book page on the inside to give it something to look at uh, for you know give you something to look at on the inside which was very easy to do and i'll show you how to do that okay and uh here's the first one i made it was a small one and uh, i stuck we made these the other day these were made out of napkins and book pages and we just covered half the page with napkin and here's just some little doodads we made the other day too so just using up the stuff we have again this is washi tape around the edges and liquid pearls uh um dotted around everywhere just for a little bit of accent and I'm going to put some more dots on the back I just haven't got to that side yet and this one was naked on the inside but that's what it looks like when it's naked on the inside so you can either decorate it up or leave as is totally user choice okay so let's make these very easy <coughs> excuse me I'm battling a little bit of a, a sniffle here today okay so we're going to use the old tape trick and let me just make sure that thing is in good view for you okay all right now to take a piece about that long and then you use one side to get the first piece off and there's usually a second piece. Now you want to save this stuff because you can use it for quickie wipes as you're going um, and you may want to want to do that but you just turn the tape around and you get that do that to get the second piece off and it comes off pretty easy. Oops, I want to get rid of that tape so you don't stick it on your important sheet. Okay, so we have that. And it's coming up. And actually, I have to admit, I was going to do one and then show you, but I had so much fun making them, I just kept going. Okay, so basically what you want to do is grab an envelope. Any envelope will do. It doesn't matter what the windows are like or anything, which makes it easy peasy. And um, maybe I'll glue on this. Okay, so here's my, my catalog of to glue upon. Um, I found a glue stick that works well, but you can also use a wet glue or Mod Podge or something like that. Um, I probably wouldn't use Fabrifix because it'd probably be too lumpy and, and it's too expensive, I think, to use for this. So there's my impression. Okay. Can you see this good? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let me just back it a little bit. Okay. And uh, okay, so what you do is you glue. Um, so my envelope is open at the top because that's where I used my letter opener to uh, glue it. And I'm just going right over everything. Whether there's a window, doesn't matter. But most important, I want to get the edges. Make sure you get the edges and then somewhere in the center. <coughs> Next, you grab your, your little napkin, and you're hoping your napkin is the right length. I think this napkin's going to be just fine. Okay. Okay, so my gluey side is that side, so I'm just going to stick that down. I'm going to stick it down. Yep. Yeah. There we go. All downsy. Easy peasy so far, right? I'm going to turn the page so I'm not dealing with glue that's going to tear my napkin. All right. And we're going to do the same thing on the back. Pretty fast, but easy in my end frame. Yep, okay. 
I'll keep checking here. I know I was riding out of frame the other day. I apologize for that. Um, that drives me batty when I watch videos that do that. And uh, here I am doing it. Sorry. Uh, sometimes I get just a little carried away and excited. Okay. So easy parlor trick here. We just fold this up and then we slap it down. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Now you're going to say, oh, how are we going to get that off the edges? This is going to be a big fiasco. But no, it's actually really easy. And I'll, I'll show you the trick. First, I tried sanding block, but sandy block was a big failure because this is just too soft and you just get this. This is not going to work at all. Okay, so uh, you, you give up on that <laughs> like I did and you grab your scissors and then you just go ahead and you cut. Okay. All right, up and up. It doesn't matter if you cut a little bit of the uh, envelope off. It's not going to hurt anybody. Um, okay, I'm going to go a little straighter here. That would be better. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our innards. Okay. We're looking at our innards and we're going to flip. It doesn't matter. We, we'll, we'll handle that with the washi tape. So don't worry if your envelope comes apart on the sides. Um, we're going to flip this, <coughs> excuse me, flip these in. But the easiest way to flip them in is not with the glue stick because you don't really know exactly where your edge is going to be. But okay, like, hang on. I got to get my, my handy dandy um, pin to open this up again. Because if you leave this alone for five seconds, it seals on you. So you just got to have a handy dandy pin ready to go. Okay, we should be good. So I'm just going to run a little bead. Here's my bead run. Running with my bead. Run across there. I'm going to go from the middle. I'm going to squash to the sides. That's okay. If it doesn't fit exactly, we, we're going to make it all pretty at the end. Okay, so we have that down. Turning it over. Maybe I'm going to move this so you don't have to look at all that busy stuff. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. So now we're just going to do the same thing here. Run the bead and flip it in. Mm -hmm. Tam tapping it down, tamping it down. Just all nicey nice. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. But you're going to say, hey, it's still apart and it's not right. And that's okay because we are going to solve that little problem with some washi tape. And who doesn't want to use through, go through their hordes of washi tape? Has anybody else got a, a horde of washi tape? I do. <laughs> and uh, um, boy, when the washi tape craze hit and you just, you know, I had to have every shade and color known to mankind. But I'm, uh, this is my year of using stuff up. I think really I'm going to declare that it's 2020. I need to use what I have. So we're going to be using up some of my washi tape together. I hope that's okay and I hope you got some. Um, if not, you could actually use a book page to do this or um, just another pretty decorative paper. But you're going to want something to seal it, the tops in and the sides in and that. So you're going to go for about the halfway mark. We want to put this about halfway I don't know if I got halfway. Yeah, it's pretty good. Halfway. And it doesn't matter if you go over on the edges. And I'll show you why, because there's a little trick. And uh, we're going to flip it over. We're going to open up the mouth of the pouch. And then we're just going to fold in, just like we did with the um, Whatchamaloo. And uh, actually, when you get down to about here, you want to make the tiniest little cut, just a smidge inside of the edge. Okay, see that? You see that? You see that? Okay. Uh, and that's going to allow you to put it flat. Don't worry about this thing hanging off. All right. Same thing on this side. We're opening. <clears throat> We're flattening. And we are snipping close to the edge, but not quite at the edge. And then we're pushing this down. So we got uh, it's all nice and flatty flat. Now here's the kind of cute tip. Um, okay. You see you have these little wings here because we didn't measure exactly. You could just cut that off and that would be fine. But you can also use that for reinforcement. So um, actually, let me show you this side first. Um, so this side, you just carry on. Let me see if I can see that right. Let's see, Carry on all the way around and then you tuck this in and that reinforces your edge there. So you have a nice strong edge and you do the same thing on this side. Put it together. Um, this one, since it has the tear, I'm just going to fold it together. Okay, maybe not gluing the top together because this whole thing is going to go inside. Yeah. Now you're saying, but hey, what about that? Miss Sally Pants, what are you going to do with that? Well, we're going to handle that. Hang on. Hold your horses. I got to do this side first. Okay, going a little longer than I need. Uh, you could glue the washi tape down too if you feel like your washi tape's going to come apart, but 
Washi tape on napkin actually glues pretty well, but if you have any issues, just put a little dabble do you of the art glitter glue with the little nib or whatever your favorite glue is, and it should handle the problem. So looking here, doing my little nip, very close to the edge, but not quite. And my little nip, very close to the edge, but not quite. Okay, and we're gonna flop it in. All right. So that should go all nicey nice on the inside. There we go. And now we have these on the outside again. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna keep going around and then fold in. Did you see that? It'll go slower. I know it looks kind of fast and quick. Okay, keep, here it is. Keep going around and fold in. Yeah, okay, so that completes that. Now, <clears throat> because I did cut the edges off, I didn't cut the bottom, but I did cut the edges off, and I call them raw edges, so they might, you know, curl up a little bit. See, see how that's happening if somebody touches it. So I, I would like it to be more secure than that. So I'm going to continue with my washi tape extravaganza here, and I'm going to make it a little longer than I need for each side. Halfway. And halfway, meaning halfway, uh, like that. And uh, let me just do one for this side, too, since I'm right here. And halfway, okay. And now we're gonna fold over. That's pretty easy, right? Yeah, anybody can do that. Yeah, even Uncle Charlie. Okay, now we're gonna cut flush. Or you could actually glue in, you could put it inside if you want, that's fine, let's, let's do that so we don't have to cut anything up. I'm gonna put that on the inside because washi is really thin, so it's gonna fold down nicely and it's gonna make the corners very strong. Um, okay, so we have that. Of course, I didn't go very straight, but you could you could do better than that. And this one really does have to be cut. Okay, so we're going to cut that there. And this one, this one, we're just going to fold on over like it's like it's easy peasy because it is folding it and folding. Okay, the bottom one we're cutting. But the top one, I think we can fold in for more security and it kind of gives a nice little finished edge there. Okay, so now we have made our official wallet pop pouch, I would say. Um, the shape, we have the shape, we have decor on both sides, very attractive. We have reinforced opening, which is very nice. And perhaps you would like um, a little more pizzazz on the inside. So let me introduce you to a little pizzazz. Okay, grab a book page and the book page needs to be wider this way, or I guess it's longer, but you know what I mean? It's gonna stick out on either side because you need it to be as big as, at least as big as your envelope. So now we're going to measure, um, bring it in a little bit from the edge, and then you wanna get rid of it a little bit in from the edge. And you can either cut it or you can uh, ruler tear it, whatever floats your boat, doesn't matter as long as uh, it's gonna fit inside. Okay, so. Oh, I've got two pages here. Look at that. Huh. Who knew? Who knew? Me now. Okay. So I kind of like that. I think that's pretty for the inside. So I'm just going to check the uh, length. See what I'm doing here with length. How is that? And I think I want to maybe be a little bit shorter than that. So I think I'm going to... Mm. Yep. Somebody told me that if you want a little edge off, you take just the edge and then you hold the big paper on. Hold the big paper side and you tear this way and that way you can get whoop, a little bit off. Okay, well, you know, everything's perfect sometimes. <laughs> okay, uh, kind of went wonky there. Let me just use the old scissors. That's okay. Scissors are fine too sometimes. Um, all right, so what we have is this and that is just going to sit right in here. So let me just make sure my my pseudo measuring worked. Oh, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah. And I think I want it a little shorter. Yeah, I do. I want it a little shorter. And you know, I think just for, uh, this might be cute. I'm just going to use pinking shears and come along here and pink the top because I just think that would be more decorative and uh, might be fun to see something different. And let's try that now. The test fit. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, you know what? I'm even going to take a little more off. I'm going to I'm going to do it. Here I go. A little bit more. I want it to reveal a little bit more of what is going on on the inside of that lip. Okay, now what do we got? And you can use any of those cute little designer scissors or what you know, whatever you have handy, or just cut a straight line, that's fine too. All right, I think that's pretty good. I like that, that looks cute. So now, to glue this guy in, 
the easiest way to do it is not pull the whole thing out, glue the whole thing down, and then shove it in because it's going to get stuck and it's going to be a disaster. So um, the easiest way is either a glue stick. Where did you come from? A glue stick or your wet glue. But I would say a glue stick is probably the easiest thing. The only thing you're going to glue is this top part. Am I in? Okay. So that's all you need to glue. You don't need to worry about anything else. So when you get it glued, you just squish it in. That's right. That's how you adhere it. You flip it over, you get all your trash out of the way, and you do the same thing to the other side. All right, here we go. Now we're on the outside, remember? Okay, outside of the paper that's on the inside. So that we're gluing the right edges together. And then we have, ta-da! Okay, we have that. Okay, so now you have a nice lined little pouch wallet boat. <laughs> okay, so very cute, right? And now you can just decorate it up. Let me just do some trimming here because I, my great expertise here of not cutting a straight line is evident. Okay, um, you can actually hear, see some of the original envelope through and I kind of like that, but if you don't like that, you can just put some adornments or embellishments on top of this to hide that. Uh, but I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to leave that. And then what I'm going to do is put some cutie pies on here. And we made this the other day. This is similar to this guy. This is uh, a book page with half covered in napkin. And then I used some liquid pearls on it. Now this one just says birdie. I like the word. I had the birdie word. Half covered in napkin and then ran over it with some gold gilding paste. And this is a, a book page and I just drew some doodles on it and then inked around the edges. But I'm just going to stick that there because I just think that's kind of cute. Um, so that's the rationale for that. And uh, I'm just going to use my glue stick, I think. It's probably pretty easy to do that. And just get your tips and stuff. And you don't have to decorate them and you can just leave the prettiness of the napkin on there. But I just thought this might be fun to show you. And um, let's see what else we have here. I already I found this in my little clump of stuff. That's kind of cute. Do I want that on there? Is that kind of weird? I don't know. Let's see. No, nah, I think it's too too cluttery. We sometimes less is more, right? Okay. And what do we have? I have this. I was gonna play with this. Maybe this on here. Yeah, we could maybe do that. But I think I'm going to tear it. Just give it a little more personality. I just got this out of a. A little book of of these uh, i think i got it from aliexpress one of those random late night purchases with the itchy trigger finger if you know what i mean um and yeah i've tried to you know find where i bought something on aliexpress and it's almost next to impossible because sometimes the picture that's shown is not the actual thing that you bought if you click on the picture it'll take you to a variety of like a hundred other choices of color and design and so it doesn't look you can't look up what you actually bought because it disappears in the grandeur of it all. So it's kind of a hit or miss on some of that stuff, but um, so many of the uh, sellers sell the same stuff, so odds are you're probably going to find it or something similar, or you'll get distracted and buy 10 other things. Like That happens to me all the time. <laughs> okay. All right. So I, there, I, I've just, I glued it. I've just did this basically with on the glue stick. I'm just going to stick that there because I just think that looks kind of fun there. Okay. So I'm calling that almost done. I just got to put the liquid pearls on it. And let's let's maybe use gold since we got the gold theme here. And maybe I'll just zoom you in so you can see this exciting action live as if you're right there with me. Okay, because you are, you know, you're right there with me. And I'm right here with you. So we're just we're just having fun with paper today. We're just playing with junk mail, playing with napkins, and using up some of that uh, washi tape that we all had to buy so much of and uh, Maybe, maybe you didn't go down the rabbit hole like I did, but if you did and you want to, this is confession time. How much washi tape do you have? I have a whole drawer full. It's, it's uh, really, it's, it's going to be used this year. This is the year of using up what I have. Now, I'm not saying there might be a purchase or two, but uh, I got so much stuff. I, I don't need any stuff. I got I to gotta use up what I have. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just going to give this guy a little more intrigue. And just make it just go around the outside because I don't know I just thought of that and that might be fun and it's all about having fun and I just want to have fun and play with the paper <laughs> so that's pretty much the gist of it here but um, yeah you can get some real cute things going here um, do I want to put a word over there oh, I don't know I guess I could um, well I have this little what bit of washi tape here and it has some words on it so maybe let me see if I can find something here remember that's kind of cool uh, I wonder if you'll stick think you should. You know what though, let me run you over the on the glue stick just to be sure. You never know about washi tape sometimes. You know, it's a little fickle. All right, here we go. Remember. 
Yeah, oh, that's very nice. So you could have maybe remember up there. See, I touched it already. See, you don't want to do that. You got to put it aside and let it dry. But there is like this moment where you have a second to repair your big mistakes. Oh, look, I got some on my sweater too. Yay. <laughs> um, and uh, this is one of those moments. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm zoomed in and probably not showing you what I'm doing again. And let me zoom out. Oh, no, not there. No, not there. Go back. There. Okay, that's all right, right? Okay. Okay, so oh, let me just put a little more. I see a little. Oh, look there. Oh, it's a splotch. Okay, there. Yeah, you can rub it away before it's dry in case you got a, you know, what I call a bluebird. Okay, sometimes I like to put little accents around words, but I'll give you a close up here so you can see it. Okay. Yeah, see? So these are very easy, very quick, very fun to do. You could load these up and have like, these could be little individual things. You could maybe put, I don't know, money or gift cards or um, little, you know, letters or tuckables or something in them. Or you could put, add them to your journals and put them in um, as uh, uh, places to tuck a bunch of ephemera in or, um, uh, you know, what have you nots. <laughs> so um, there you go. That's the idea for today. So we have this one, this one. Oh, we can't see all that. Let me go wider. Okay, we have this one. We have this one. I'll put the glue stick cap on. Very important. Um, this one, this one. And, whoop, don't touch the edges. Okay, sorry. Oh, face jeez. Okay, and there. Ta-da! Okay, <laughs> so um, I hope you had fun. I know I had a lot of fun with you guys. So uh, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And come and check us out over on the Paper Outpost Facebook group. And uh, please post what you make. I would love to see it. Um, I, we are starting a uh, Facebook group page, which I haven't started yet. So it's just a regular Facebook page for the Paper Outpost, which is up right now. Uh, but if you want to um, join the pa Facebook group, we should get that rolling in January. And uh, watch for some... Um, there's going to be some, I'm going to post some polls and questionnaires in the community tab on my channel page about that because I want to get a good gut feel as to uh, what the best way we can do this and what you're actually looking for in a Facebook uh, group page and, and uh, how it can best serve everybody. Okay, I want to hear from you guys what you think. And also, um, uh, yeah, we have the podcast that's going now. So you can listen to it on Spotify or go to anchor.fm slash the paper outpost. The links are all down below every video. Uh, if you want to just listen to um, uh, more talk uh, about uh, junk journaling and, and everything junk journaling. Um, and it is new content. It is different from my videos. So if uh, you know you're cooking or walking or traveling through the grocery store and just want something to listen to. There you go. <laughs> all right. Um, um, so that's pretty much it. I think that those, those are all. The, oh, no, we're getting close to 10,000. So when we get close, to, when we hit the 10,000, we're going to have uh, subscribers. We're going to. Ha and thank you very much. This is all you guys. This has nothing to do with me. I am just sitting here playing with paper for gosh sakes. Um, but uh, when we do that, we'll do another giveaway and we'll celebrate together and, uh, you know, leap for joy and, and, and all that fun stuff. And uh, it'll be something really cool and really fun. And um, we'll figure that out when the time comes. No counting our chickens before they're hatched. Right, Pam? Yep. OK. Um, all right. So I hope everybody is doing well and I will be talking to you soon. Um, got a lot more videos, ideas coming up. So I'm going to be back over there making some more videos real quick. And I think I need to clean up my desk. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs>